Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Riverbed and Springs episode. Uh, it's still morning, so my tongue is twisting a bit. But it's January, and today is the best day uh, to sell wood chips. So I'm going to make my way to the land that we are building right now, and I am going to unload. Well, actually not, I'm going to put them on the tractor. Uh, but I do want to take a few more trees down uh, and haul the branches up to the place where we will chip everything. And then I think I'm going to lease a uh, chipper and a trailer of some sort. So I'm going to have to go with the tractor to the store. And yeah, I've been thinking. So we have a nice little plot of land and a meadow in front of the house that we are constructing. But, I really do think that we would do well with more trees on our land, so I'm thinking of getting a tree planter and putting, I don't know, a few new saplings in, so while we are taking trees down, we have new trees uh, popping up and growing already, so they are ready for when we need them. And because it's a lot easier to work with straight trees, uh, I think I will plant uh, those uh, pines or uh, deciduous, no, not deciduous, coniferous trees. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, so if you look at this place, there's a lot of free land, and I don't really think I'm gonna use all that land for buildings and stuff like that. I'm not really planning on doing any grass work, at least not much. Uh, but I do want to have my going to park or out of the way. We're off the road. Whoa. Means I have driven on a rock or of some sort. Yep. Luckily, this is a very sturdy truck, so nothing really bad happened. Uh, but uh, the this phase of construction is now done. I need to put one pallet of beams and one pallet of long planks in to continue construction. And uh, previously when I was showing you this uh, foundation, uh, we had only stairs on this side and now, gotta be careful, but now we have stairs on this side also. So if you imagine, you know, going off the porch here and looking at this view, I really think it's spectacular. Uh, but uh, yeah, I want to start planting some trees down there at the bottom of uh, the meadow uh, just so we have some new capital growing. Uh, but first, I want to check on my mill. I need to exchange the front loader tool. Uh, so what are we looking at? Okay, long planks are quite far away and wood beams are more than halfway done uh, but we already have some planks I can take this to be sold uh, let me just check real quick where I can sell these New Holland TK 4.8 Meton power okay let me check that also okay so this has just come on uh, discount uh, this is uh, more of a, a vineyard tractor or something like that so it's not quite as useful for me, but let me check the prices. Okay, so it looks like a lot of places actually buy planks. Uh, right now is not the best time to sell it. It's actually almost the worst time to sell them. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we get paid around 2,150, 2,300. Okay, so 2,500. Okay, so the prices are fluctuating up and down but playground that seems cool maybe somebody is making a playground okay so which means i'm going to go and deliver these planks to playground when i have the time um right now i do want to focus on bringing down some more trees producing some more branches because i will chip them 
And I need materials because chipping... Uh, yeah, it's gonna cost me at least 5,000 for the chipper and at least some more money for the trailer to transport those chips to be sold. So, uh, yeah, let me get changed and let me go into the forest. Right, I have changed my clothes and I've been thinking. Um, this right here is quite a nice little piece of flatland. And wouldn't it be good if we would clear this piece of plot so we can build maybe a bigger sawmill uh, sometime in the future or maybe a workshop for creating furniture. So yeah, I just might do that. But first I need to clear a few things. Um, I want to take both of these dead trees into the sawmill because I think it's ready to take them. It's uh, about half capacity right now. So yeah, we will kill two birds with one stone uh, as the saying goes. by uh, clearing these trees and we are also gonna get some branches off of the said trees so it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned yeah thinking backwards it might even be better if I would build my log cabin on this plateau right here because uh, the land flattening and uh, whatnot, so the land works actually cost me around 10,000. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't cheap, but this is how I decided I'm gonna do things, <laughs> and this is how I did things. There's no two ways around it. And another thing I want to say is, I am very happy with this winch system. Okay, I'm gonna have to relocate the tractor a little bit. Can I control the winch from the inside? No, it looks like I can't. Maybe if I do this? No. Okay, so you have to be outside to control the winch. Okay, and now pull the tree into the pickup come on take it take it like a good little sawmill you are nope. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what they say you have to do things in order to get experience and while you're doing things you're gonna make mistakes so I'm learning. Okay, so we were at 7,000 and we are... Oh, this was 4,000. So I'm not gonna put <laughs> the other tree in because I don't want to overfill it. I always want to have a little bit more space in the, in the sawmill. Okay, so let's see. Which tree do I start with? Because this is so close to the sawmill, I think I'll rather cut this off or take this tree down. This one can stay even though it's on the edge, but I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna bother me too much. So let me get rid of this first. Got it. I don't want to get rid of you. 
as low as I possibly can. No, not that high. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Uh, so the tree needs to fall around in this direction somewhere. Yeah, so looking at this, the tractor is way too close. Okay, so somewhere in this direction, I think, is gonna be perfect. Let me... at my... sides. And I will have to get something to break off, uh, to grind the stumps. Yeah, this is a huge tree. Timber! Man, look at the size of this tree. Okay, so now to safely take this tree down on the ground. I want to clear as many branches as I can from this angle so that when I have the tree on the ground it's already mostly cleaned up. Reach this one. What about here? So this whole branch is probably going to go away. Okay. Uh, da -da. Do I climb on the tree? Probably I shouldn't really climb on the tree, shouldn't I? But I really want to take this away. Perfect. Of course, when you're doing this, be mindful of your safety. So look how close the tree came to uh, the actual sawmill. So yeah, it was a good idea to be careful. Okay, so can I cut... Can I cut it? Something like this. I want to make as much space as I can before I take this branch down. Okay, two branches. But I have to be very careful because there are branches directly over my head. Hmm. Exactly sure this is the right thing. I don't want to get slapped by a huge branch, you know, if you understand what I mean. But this one doesn't carry any weight, so it should be good to cut away. apologize if this is not exactly a very interesting content but is what it is Moving. okay so the weight transferred on those two branches okay Place to it. Cut them in two pieces. Okay. So 
the beginning is done. Let's try this branch. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do this off screen because otherwise <laughs> the whole episode is just gonna be me cutting down this tree. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll tag back in when I'm done. Okay, this whole operation took a little more or around one hour to complete. Um, most of the logs are too heavy to carry by hand, so yeah, I was checking the actual... Yeah, I can actually carry this one, so let me put it somewhere away. Um, yeah, so I was, I was thinking of maybe just pushing them somewhere out of the way, because this is a lot of wood. And the actual wood chipper doesn't really have a grab, so that basically means that I'm gonna have to have a tractor running on the chipper in order for it to function and I can't use the tractor at the same time to load said chipper if you understand what I'm saying so that would mean that I have to buy or lease another tractor or another power unit and I don't really I don't really see that as a financially feasible thing uh, which means that I'm simply going to push all the logs and use the tractor's uh, arm to, you know, pile them up over there. And I'm gonna feed the sawmill as needed. So, yeah, maybe I can drop a branch or two in the sawmill. Because I was thinking that I would be chipping, you know, most, most of this tree, but it looks like I won't. At least in the current setup, I don't think it's doable. Okay, so does it show how much would I can put in? Uh, okay, we are at 11,500. Let me take a branch, drop it in the sawmill and then we'll see. I'm still not very proficient with the <laughs> with the grab thing. Okay, this should be good now. Come on. Pretty hard to see out of the tractor. doesn't want to cooperate. Well, that branch is sticking quite a lot out on the right side, so I have to be careful. Okay, let's see where this put us. So this was around 500, okay. I can put two more branches in and the rest is going to get pushed. Somewhere on the edge of the of the land here. Not sure why, but the grabs used to grab the tree a bit better when I was first using those things. Okay, thirteen thousand two hundred. Okay, so we have fourteen thousand liter space. Uh, which means I have to push the other logs out of the way. I think I'm gonna use the blade for that. F2 
left another bit of thought. I am going to take down a few more trees and I can cut these branches into shorter ones. Uh, and I suppose I could lift those uh, by hand. So, <clears throat> yeah, and feed it into the wood chipper. Let me just try one, one branch. So, I definitely can't lift this one by hand. But what if I do this? Yeah, that's still too heavy. This side is a little bit thinner. Okay, so now I can lift it. So it is possible. Which might mean that... I, okay, I can lift this one too. Uh, which might mean that it's a way of me for me to... You know, make just uh, a lot of these small pieces. <laughs> Look at it spinning. Uh, it wants to be a ball. Yeah, so I could make a lot of these small pieces and then uh, throw them into the wood chipper by hand. And keep the chipper running on the tractor. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tag back in when I have everything cut up here and loaded into a nice, neat little pile. And then I think I'm gonna take this tree down. Because it's uh, the easiest to do now when there are no leaves on the tree. Uh, you can see better and the wood is more usable. Because it's uh, a bit drier inside. Okay, just a quick update. Um, this is the pile of logs I've made. And I've cut down one of the brushes of bush. Uh, see <laughs> it's it's legs are still here uh, but these trunks are way too big to cut into small uh, trees and I'm going to leave these trunks also uh, so I'm gonna put them in the sawmill as needed uh, but I think it's time to take this tree down so yeah and there's another thing um, I might have misjudged this situation horribly with the wood chipper because I checked again and, and that wood chipper requires 150 horsepower and I have 116 in this John Deere here which means probably means I'm gonna try to run it at the store and if I can't I'm gonna have to lease a tractor. <laughs> Which I think is not gonna be cheap. Not gonna be cheap at all. The big oak. Wow, this is a big tree. And timber, everyone, be careful. Um, and look how healthy it is. This is gonna make some fine wood. Uh, the sawmill still hasn't produced anything that we can put into the building site. So yeah, I will dig into this tree and I will put it into pieces. And yeah, I'll tag back in when this is all sorted out because it's gonna be a project. <laughs> Believe you me. Okay, the tree is down, it's all cut up. Now, this is a big piece of oak. This must be tons and tons of wood. So I'm not even sure if I can <laughs> move it uh, the whole log, uh, but anyway. Uh, it's time for me to go down to the store and try if I can actually power the, the, oh come on, I'm at a loss of words, power the wood chipper, and if not, I'm going to have to get another power unit to do so. 
And in that case I can use the tractor to get the trailer up. But yeah, we'll see. If this is a total flop, I will at least know uh, that it's uh, not worth my while and I will just uh, go ar about it another way, you know. I have some uh, backup money, so <laughs> uh, luckily I can withstand even a few thousand uh, dollar loss. Okay, and away we go. Right, so I'm at the store and now we get to the moment of truth. Will we be able to run <laughs> the wood chipper? Ah oh man, I really do hope so. So if you can, if you check here, it has, it says 150 horsepower. Uh, let's lease it. That's gonna be 5,600. So let me just write the expenses down. This was around 5,600 for the chipper. And we're gonna need at least a trailer, if not another tractor. So yeah, I really do hope uh, we can pull it off like this. Alright, let's unfold everything. Put the auger out. And that's insufficient engine power. No. Okay, well, that only means one more thing. I need another tractor to pull this off. So I can simply take this off of the tractor. Oh, this is a road. Get off. Uh, let me have a word with the guys, uh, if they have anything suitable for me. So we have an option of getting this Challenger. It has 160 horsepower, so it, it is powerful enough. And the leasing cost is 3040. Uh, because I don't really have any other options, I'm gonna take it. Let me write this down. So 3040 tractor. And now I need a trailer. And the trailer is going to be uh, this one, farm tech. Uh, this is gonna be pretty cheap. So it's eight cubic meters. Uh, if I lease it, it's gonna cost me 460. 460. So total, we are we have spent. Uh, this is 8,600 and. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 8,650 is the leasing cost. This is uh, assuming we do everything in one hour. Uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna have one of the guys uh, bring up the tractor with, uh, with the wood chipper and I'm gonna take the trailer up since it is going to be on this tractor. And uh, now it looks like I will actually have another power unit so I can use the front loader of this tractor to put some wood into the chipper. Um, so yeah, maybe after all this is not such a bad thing, but I did uh, put quite a lot of money out. Anyway, see you back at the hill. Okay, look at all this. We have a proper setup now on the farm. Uh, I mean, on the property. So, how do I go about this? Uh, I'm gonna need, to need... So the chipper opens on this side. So I think I should reverse it in here. And have the trailer for chips over here. 
Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Ooh, challenger. Let me see if I can actually operate one of these machines. These are quite more advanced than what I have, my John Deere. Be careful, I don't drop down. And I do want to go just a little bit more towards the pile. I don't have to carry the wood. Okay, and now get the trailer underneath man this is a tight spot to maneuver so if the wood chips are sold by I think around 1500 I have to check the price then it means that I will be with a full trailer I should uh, have enough money to cover the leasing cost and I will have clear fields right so let's go doesn't want to get in. Come on, go! Okay, let me try and nudge it in with another piece of wood. You should never stick your hands inside a machine like this. Okay. Let me see how much we actually got. Oh, we got a pretty decent amount. Okay, well... Hey, hey, hey! Money! <laughs> oh, man. Not sure why this isn't taken in. I'll put this to the side. I'm not reaching in. <laughs> I am not reaching in. Let me turn the chipper off. Yeah, do not, I repeat, do not reach into a running wood chipper. I'm not sure why these pieces are not taken, but it doesn't matter. Let's continue. Now the question is, will it take these branches? to get rid of it, so, yeah. And there is another piece of advice, never have loose fitting clothes when you're doing stuff uh, around rotating machines. As you see, there are teeth here and this can grab you and you are not going to have a fun time with this. Man, the trailer's already full. Almost full, though. Okay. Okay, I have severely misjudged how many wood chips we get off of these branches here. At least once in my existence, uh, I actually misjudged a situation in my uh, in my profit. <laughs> Yeah. So 
well, how full are we? Okay, we still have some space. Yeah, this this isn't gonna work. I have to wait. Okay, let me realign this a little better. And since it's turned off, I can wiggle some of these logs loose. can't waste time by pulling stock logs out. It's going to be the discard pile. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll just dump them in the forest somewhere. Very strange. Okay, the trailer still has some space in it. don't understand what's wrong with this log, but... Oh. So it's somewhere away. And let's feed it a few more pieces of wood. And I believe we're gonna have a full trailer. So for 400 liters left, let me see if I can put one of these in. Okay, and the trailer is practically full. Uh, because this uh, chipper doesn't have any storage space, I am gonna have to go and sell this. Yeah. Okay, uh, I need to check where I can sell the chips. And I'll be back. Good, so uh, the best price is at Grain River Silo. And if we check the map, this is over here. Uh, so, what's the best way to get there? It's probably using the barge, isn't it? Uh, so I can go up here through the town and there is a barge over here, so I can make a shortcut over here and go here. I could go around, but... No, I'm gonna use the barge. Well, you're welcome to accompany me on the travels. Okay, and I believe this on the left should be <clears throat> the the place we are taking our wood chips to. 
and there seems to be no one here. Where do I unload? I, I believe on this side. Yeah, that is a loading station, and this is unloading station. Okay, let me go say a few words with somebody around here before I dump everything and, you know, <laughs> I don't know the protocol yet. Uh, yep, this is fine. So they have recorded my license plate and my information. Dump everything in. This is qu quite a far away drive, so I might use uh, something a bit closer for the next time. Uh, but, yeah. We get paid around 8,000 for this load. Amazing. Anyway, I will make my way... Oh, look, this is a barge loading station. Interesting. Uh, I will make my way back and do another road of chipping and continue with this until I'm basically done with all the branches laying around. Uh, the oak branches that I have recently cut, so the big tree, I, I think I might keep them because uh, oak is uh, very good wood. It's actually slow growing and very hard wood. So it's good for making furniture and stuff like that. That lasts a long time. Um, but yeah, anyway, I need hello mail. <laughs> that was express mail. Um, yeah. Of course, I'll continue this until I'm done. Okay, so this is our third load. Uh, as you can see on my bank account, it's actually gone qu uh, quite a lot higher up. I am taking another trailer full, uh, but yeah, I decided I'm gonna go to the animal dealers now because it's uh, way closer and the price is practically the same. It's just uh, two dollars lower than the the price over the river is uh, per 1,000 liters, mind you. So if we divide that by 1,000, we get basically the same amount of money for a lot less travel. Uh, yeah, so the animal dealer is around where I am currently living, at the Airbnb. So I should be there momentarily. Okay, just a few minutes later, I am already here. Uh, so the dumping point should be somewhere around here. I think if I reverse here, maybe this is the cell point. Um, the animal dealer uses wood chips to make bedding for the animals. So let me dump it here. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a lot closer, and it takes a lot more, a lot less time to go back and forth. Uh, so yeah, I suppose I have uh, not maybe a full trailer load uh, on the ground where I am chipping right now, and then I have some logs stored on the truck. If you remember from the Deadwood mission. And then I have some uh, <laughs> branches left at the bottom of my meadow. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have my work cut out for today. I just hope this episode doesn't run for too long. Doing my best to cut things out and just leave the important stuff in. 
Okay, uh, let's restart the chipper and the tractor. I keep turning it off because I... Oh, I forgot to turn it off. Um, yeah, I keep turning it off because I don't want to uh, rank up any usage fees. Because after each hour of use you have to pay. Okay, yeah, I think I think this is gonna go fine. Um, yeah, after each hour of use you have to pay another leasing cost, so yeah, it's uh, much better if we can avoid that. is filling up. How much space does it have? Okay, 1000 liters and a bit. This might mean that I have to do another run. Two hundred liters. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have to do another run. Shame. But on the other hand, that's more money for the bank account. <laughs> okay, and we're full. Yep, I'm gonna go uh, unload the trailer, and I'll be back with. Okay, so this should be the last load of chips. I'm currently sitting at one thirty-six thousand. Uh, which is nice. I think I started <clears throat> this vlog with 114,000. So that's uh, quite an improvement, even though I have paid good money to lease this equipment. So yeah, if you were wondering if uh, wood chips are actually any good, yes they are. They most definitely are. And you can use scraps like this to actually make money. If you remember <clears throat> when I uh, started recording right now, so this bit here. Come on. All we had were like uh, branches like this one. There we go. And yeah, we'll see how much. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Have it your own way. was I yeah so uh, the branches here are nothing you know to write home about you can't put them into planks or uh, mill them into anything useful uh, so producing wood chips out of them is actually very a very decent idea Finally manage that <coughs> branch. This one's heavier. Shows. Looks like the chipper spit out some wood. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, I really wonder how much. We're gonna fill the trailer with the scraps left here. Finally, uh, I think that <clears throat> you have to have your wood aligned with the chipper uh, for the best outcome, <laughs> so it doesn't get stuck, you know, and stuff like that. Even though it should pull it in uh, quite fine, the way you 
defeated, but yeah, it is what it is. You always have to take into account the constraints of the machine you're working with and the environment you're in. <clears throat> okay, so one more branch after this, and we're we've cleaned up everything. <clears throat> Come on, read it. Okay, there was nothing useful there. Uh, so we got 4,500 from that pile of scraps. Okay, let me put the auger back in and fold up the machine. And I'm gonna call the vehicle shop to come collect their equipment. Uh, because they brought it over, they said they're gonna come and uh, collect it also. Uh, I will return the trailer to the shop and I want to conclude this day by feeding another piece of logs or anything I have for the construction site to the construction site so they start working on it uh, during the afternoon and maybe in the morning before I come over here. So yeah, I'll see you back at the construction site. Okay, I have just accepted this episode is gonna be extremely long. Um, I will take one of the pallets to a playground that's being constructed. Uh, I did check online and there is actually a construction site for a small children's playground. It's not too far away. I'm going to make my way there. So this is supposed to be the place. I have never been here before, so yeah, it's just as much uh, news to me as any other would think, but okay. So uh, this is probably the playground. Or maybe this is the playground construction site, I'm, I'm not sure. And I have to look it up. The deal is, uh, this right here is a construction site for a playground, and here is the playground maker. And the playground maker is the one that buys that buys uh, planks. So I'm gonna go around here and deliver those planks there, and then I'm gonna return back <laughs> to my place. Oh, it's too narrow and fit through. Yeah, and then I'm gonna return back to my place to make sure that the construction site continues. Yeah, many interesting places in this country. County. Let me go like this so it can be unloaded. Okay, so another 4,244 in my bank account. Now really, uh, I promise this is going to be the last piece <laughs> of this episode. Okay, so I had to wait the all, <clears throat> all through the night for the wood beams and planks to be produced. Uh, so yeah, as I promised, I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to have a bit of a lay down. Uh, and we'll continue next time where I hope I will be able to start... But heavy should have should have put a weight on the back of the tractor but <clears throat> we'll continue next time where I will probably start with uh, planting some trees I think that's gonna be the way to go okay so wood beams And now for the planks. And this is basically all the materials this construction site needs for this part of the <coughs> of the build. Excuse me, I have a bit of a sore throat, so yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to clean up a bit.
Okay, and with this, I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. <laughs> I hope you lasted through the episode. And I wish everything good for you. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.